Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Robo Fett. So, um, as we all know, uh, my friend the comedic gamer, I guess all of us don't know, he moved away, and um, we still yeah. wanted to try to figure out how to do something together, so uh, we decided to try and do a podcast every Sunday now. So every Sunday, uh, give or take, we're going to try to have a podcast, uh, you know, talk about things that are going on, relevant things, whatever. So the thing we're going to be talking about today is that uh, apparently Pokemon is going to be coming out as an app device, or sorry, uh, it's, it's going to be coming out as an app next year, Nintendo's going to be releasing it. Uh, it's going to be a game called Pokemon Go, and basically yeah. the premise behind it is that you can catch Pokemon in the real world. You can go out and you can capture them, you can see them, you can trade with people, you can uh, train your Pokemon, you can fight. Uh, so uh, it, it looks very exciting, and the trailer looked very exciting. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on it? My own thoughts about it, it's like, it's really, like, the idea and everything about it looks awesome. It's kind of like a dream come true when you're, like, a little kid at the time when Pokemon was out. And it's like, how awesome would it be if you can actually catch and become an actual Pokemon trainer? In a sense, I feel like watching the trailer of Pokemon Go and everything, it's kind of like, it's another step closer towards that. And I love the idea. But when I watched the trailer, all of it is just crazy, you know, awesome computer animations, but not a whole lot of gameplay. And it's like, you only see little tidbits of, like, of it at the end of the trailer. And the quality, like, graphics and everything, it's like, it looks just like Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, when when they show when they show the gameplay, uh, it, it's like in the last five seconds of the trailer when they show what looks like it's going to be the actual gameplay. They didn't confirm that or not, but what looks like it's going to be the actual gameplay, it looks, it looks, it doesn't look like the real world. It just looks like basically a, a mobile game on your app where you can probably go around, catch Pokemon, and then uh, you know battle with your friends. You know, obviously this game isn't finished yet. It's it's just now been announced, so uh, we'll see what happens with it. But um, you got till like 2016 till it comes out. So you know, something gonna it's definitely gonna be a while before they actually start showing stuff for it. Yeah, I don't I don't think that I have to to tell you that uh, Nintendo has been making some terrible decisions as of late. Uh, the Wii U sa yeah. uh, sales are just terribly down. You know, obviously they just had Mario Maker come out, uh, and I'm sure that helped out. But you know, uh, basically. The, the Wii U's not been that great of a success. Uh, they, they have done pretty well. I'll, I'll hand it to them. They've done pretty well with, with the 3DS. Uh, and they're rushing out a new console, the NX, that we don't know a lot about. I can't... I, I honestly, I don't feel like there's going to be a lot positive that's going to come of it. And uh, it seems like they're trying to go every, every which way they can. We, we know that they had uh, mobile, mobile developers. They've had mobile developers in, uh, working on them with the NX. And uh, I don't know how much it's going to play into the NX, but it just wouldn't surprise me if they do like Konami's doing and kind of try to get their foot in the door with uh, mobile gaming. Yeah, I mean, that's a disappointing part of it, too. It's like you want gaming to stay either on the computers or consoles if you're a true gamer. When you look at mobile gaming, you think of Angry Birds, you think of, you know, games like that, and you don't really consider those games. But, I mean, unfortunately, that's where the money is nowadays when it comes to gaming because there's not a lot of hardcore gamers, there's more casual gamers. Sadly to say, this could be like a huge turn of Nintendo if they're just going to have mobile companies working for their consoles. I mean, could this be the step towards the end of a console race in a sense? Yeah, I, I don't know about that because console gaming is still very prevalent. It's very, and you know, I, I know you said things like Angry Birds and all that stuff that's not really games. I mean, they are games. They are games, and uh, you can play games like Knights of the Old Republic on your 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 iPhone now. You know, you can play that on your tablet or whatever. And you're right, uh, it is where the money is, but you know, I mean, there's a lot of people like me that would rather have a controller in their hand to play a game, and uh, while it, it might fuse all together one day, 
hopefully a day that I will never have to see. I mean, hopefully me and you will be sitting on our on our front porches, you know, just being like, oh well, mobile gaming finally took over. Now, 80 years old. I remember when we had like a controller. Yeah, hopefully that hopefully that's the case. But I don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, it has to be a gradual process, but you're kind of seeing the movement now, in a sense. I mean, even though it's not making a huge impact, I mean, you still got awesome consoles coming out, still being made, you know, so awesome games. I just, I feel like one day these, you know, and I hate it when they call themselves gamers because they're not, but these people that just play tablet games and you know kind of take over the gaming world and kind of like in a sense not make it hardcore anymore you know honest honestly i i will honestly to be honest with you i, I don't really like the term gamer i mean because it, it kind of clumps everybody into one sort of collective uh that's a whole that's a whole another discussion though we'll just have to agree to disagree on that but uh Definitely. basically to wrap it up uh, I think that Nintendo, if they can pull this off, it would be great. I was watching the trailer. I was very excited, m maybe too excited. You know, I need to pull back a little bit and think about this. But um, yeah. you get a text? Did you get a text view? Um, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but anyway, I, I you know, if Nintendo could pull this off, it's a step in the right direction for them, I I guess. Uh, and we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just afraid that Nintendo's gonna do like another rushed console, you know, just like the Wii U or the Wii. And that's the thing is like they get everyone hyped up with the new consoles, and they, if you notice, they always try to become the first console to come out first before the other consoles come out. And as soon as the other consoles come in and settle in and everything, then they kind of fade out and start dying. In which the Wii U is already now doing that. I mean, if you think about it, what's the last you know game they really oh, yeah. made oh yeah i mean I, I don't want to say it but the wii u is dead uh yeah but anyway Except you know for splatoon and that's it yeah i mean splatoon's been a success you know but anyway uh with all with all that aside um you know hopefully nintendo can pull it off i don't want to see them go off into obscurity i don't want them to become irrelevant but if it happens uh, I mean, there's nothing you can really do. There's just a whole bunch of old men over at the company that don't know what they're doing. Uh, well, anyway, guys, uh, we want to thank you for watching our first official uh, podcast together. Uh, be sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. Like I always say, you don't have to, but if you did, it would really help us out. Um, don't forget to check out my friend, the, com the Comedic Gamer. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel below, as well as an, uh, an, an, an annotation. Blah, 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 blah. As always, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later.